Hey everyone, Chase with Sound Vision Technologies here. I'm excited that you're almost to the point where you're designing, recommending, and even installing Vessel and True Audio products in your projects. To help you get even more comfortable with the Vessel product set, today we're going to go over some audio basics. Let's get started. First, it's important to remember that Vessel is what we call speaker brand agnostic. We always recommend that you try and use True Audio speakers with Vessel amplifiers wherever possible, but it's not necessary. As long as the speakers you're using are within the recommended specifications of Vessel, it's okay to use those speakers with Vessel. Second, let's talk about impedance. Impedance is actually another fancy word of referring to the amount of resistance a speaker is providing an amplifier. There's actually two different types of speakers, both low impedance and high impedance speakers that exist in the market. First, we're gonna talk about low impedance speakers. Low impedance speakers generally carry an, an ohm rating of anywhere from two to four or eight ohms, and sometimes even higher. Low impedance speakers generally would like to see a direct speaker cable connection from the speaker right back to the vessel amplifier. High impedance speakers generally carry a volt rating, so 70 volt or 100 volt. Those speakers, unfortunately, cannot be connected directly to vessel, uh, and they require a specialty, what we call 70 volt or 100 volt amplifier first. The good news is you can actually use Vessel as a source-only device still by using any of the analog outputs on the A1X, A3X, and A6X and running those directly into the 70 volt or 100 volt amplifier. The nice thing about high impedance speakers is you can actually daisy chain those and run them over very long distances and you can use a lot of speakers at the same time. If you're using a low impedance speaker, generally those speakers are going to want to see a smaller or shorter cable run Otherwise, you risk losing volume with your speakers. Third, let's take a look at power rating. All speaker manufacturers carry some sort of a recommended power rating that you can generally find on their manual, packaging, or even their website. If you visit trueaudio.com, right on the website, you can actually see all of the physical characteristics as well as power handling impedance rating for each of our speakers. The A1X supports 35 watts at 8 ohms and 50 watts at 4 ohms while the A3X and the A6X actually support 50 watts at both impedance levels, 8 ohms and 4 ohms. You can recommend a speaker that has a higher power rating than Vessel, but it is important to remember that if your speaker requires a lot of power, you may want to consider using an external higher power amplifier to drive that speaker. That way you can assure the best listening experience possible for your customer. Again, the good news is you can use Vessel as a source-only device with that high power amplifier. Fourth, let's talk about speaker wire recommendations. We recommend anywhere from a 12 to a 14 or a 16 gauge wire be used with any of the Vessel product sets. The lower the number, believe it or not, the thicker the gauge wire. The advantage to using a lower gauge wire, like a 12 gauge wire, which is going to be a thicker wire, it'll allow you to run longer distances without the loss, any sort of loss in volume. It's important to remember that on the back of each Vessel amplifier there's a Phoenix connector and each of the little slots on the back of each Phoenix connector can only support one 12 gauge wire or two 14 gauge or 16 gauge wires. Fifth, we want to help you understand the difference between zones and channels. Zones are generally the area where you want to play music. Those can be both small and large. If you're wanting to cover a very large zone, you may want to consider using a high impedance speaker where you can use a lot of speakers uh, within a single zone. A channel is what you hook a speaker directly to. If you look at the back of any vessel unit, uh, within each zone, it supports two channels. Now what's unique about each of those channels is they're actually stable down to four ohms. What that means is you can take two speakers that have an eight ohm resistance rating and connect them to the same channel. That then becomes a 4 ohm load and Vessel is okay with that. If you connect more than two 8 ohm speakers to a channel within Vessel, you actually risk damaging your amplifier. Now we know that was a lot of information really quick. The good news is we're here to help. We have a knowledge base article that covers everything we talked about today. You can also visit Vessel.com where you can access our full knowledge base library as well as more information on the Vessel product set. And finally, we have a free system design service. You can reach out to us at vessel.com and ask for assistance designing any sort of project. Thank you for watching.